like my brain would constantly come disconnected and then yeah. it would just come like flying out i'm like this isn't fun um that sounds so dumb out of context <laughs> yeah i know right everybody this is this the second the second time we're we're doing it again hero factory (laughs) a.m actually wait no i'm five minutes away from it being (laughs) a.m dang we're recording at 11 55 hero factory (laughs) (laughs) p.m can that be can that please be the name of this series because we always record at the night in the darkness. The dark. No, I already, I already. Well, okay, okay. The first one is gonna be called Hero Factory's Talkies because I already edited that video <laughs> and that's what it's called. And then so this part can be Hero Factory Talkies, the second episode, but we'll call it Hero Factory PM. Yeah. Because we both know this isn't gonna be an ongoing series, and there's gonna be like maybe three episodes at most. Matora, I hope you realize that I could do a weekly show with you about HF and find something new to talk about every week. I haven't even touched on the eccentricities and internal moral struggle of Duncan Bolt, but I can. <laughs> I can talk about how he's a guy who's trying to overcome societal stereotyping and norms put upon people of his strength caliber. To become an intellectual, you, but he keeps getting shunted what? by his friends and his oh, peers. Oh, wait, no. So he has to rise right, above and right. get smart. I remember this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> Alright. What are we going to talk about today, oh host of ours? The sets. We're going to talk about the sets, man. The products. All the Hero Factory sets. Mm. Mm. Commercialism. The things mm. you buy with the cash money. I'm, I'm, I'm like the epic multitasker. I'm eating Cheetos in true gamer fashion <laughs> while playing Destiny, while drinking, like, Coke, while podcasting. So, uh, if I'm all over the place. That's a, that's a really, that's a really high, some high class, some high class snackage there, Messo. Oh, you I, know I, it. I 100% approve of these brand names. <laughs> and you get to hear all my epic crunches. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Seds. So HF has a lot of, has a lot of sets, as we kind of touched upon mm-hmm. last time. The first wave's kind of a weird one. Um, I guess what we're gonna do for this a surprising part, amount of sets, really, when you look at it, when you think about it. But I keep forgetting it lasted for like five years. You know. I know, cause it it really it, yeah it went by much faster than like. I don't know. Yeah, it's crazy, cause it, cause I guess it's just you know there's like less a little bit less you know, story going on a little bit. Like, it, like, it's, like, not, it's, it it just, the time period of the story doesn't feel as expansive as Bionicle. So when you think of the first four years of Bionicle, like, so much happened. For sure. (laughs) It's like in Hero Factory, they had, like, four missions, you know? Stuff kind of blurs together a tad, but there was a lot there. Uh, There was a lot of variety. I think how we're just gonna do this, you wanna just kind of go through year by year and talk about the sets we have? (laughs) <laughs> the sets we got. Uh, yeah, we can, or also just like the sets in general. I mean, I I've definitely ogled at a lot of the sets that I like don't have, especially like um I don't have many of the big sets, so like I I drool over those a lot. So I, I I'm familiar with them. I just not familiar with the builds. Why don't you have any of the as... big sets? Are you a fake fan? No, no, I have, I have some, but I just don't, I don't have, like, I don't have, like, Ferno Bike, I don't have Dropship, you know, like, some of those sets. Ferno Bike is epic. I have, I know. It's just because they're just more expensive is all. Yeah. <clears throat> I hear that. Um, I mean, for me, my mom was awesome, because she was, like, she knew I was depressed about Bionicle ending. So for my birthday in 2010, she just had the entire wave, like, waiting when I got home from school one day. <laughs> it's like a birthday oh gift. Gosh. Except for Dropship and Vulcan Vapor. They are, to this day, the only uh, 1.0 sets that escaped me. Vulcan Vapor. Well, 
Well, I will tell you something, Nessa. Go on, Matoro. I might own a Vulcan Vapor set, possibly. Le- Legasp, really? Yeah, I do. Hmm, how is it? It actually, I, I realized it. Um, it's 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 very nice. I, I realized it the other day because I was looking at my bulk, like I was looking at the the arm pieces. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I was like. Wait a second. Why does he? Because I'd been like editing the other video, and I'd been looking at a picture of Bulk for a while, and I was like, "Where's the Glatorian fist?" And then I was like, "Wait a second. He has he has two of these arm pieces." Mm-hmm. And then I was like, "Oh yeah, that's right. Because this is from the Bulk and Vapor set, not the not the canister set." Bulk and Vapor was always weird to me. Number one, just because it's one of those weird, like you know, non-canon sets or sets that never appeared in the story, but also like. Vapor is cool. Vapor is a cool, unique kind of design, but bulk is just yeah. horrible. Like two of the weapon arms is just god awful. Yes, yes. No, no. It's good. It's double, double the weapons. <laughs> it's good. Double the power. <laughs> and he has orange too. I don't know. I just wanted blue rotor. Okay, <laughs> don't judge me. No, it's blue corroder. <laughs> He's got rotor's head, but corroder's blades. I don't. I I just look at the. I just look at the masks. Bulk literally has like a rope tied around his neck. Like there's a picture I want you to like put up in the video from the instructions. I just post <laughs> chat. It's like the rope is just gonna like hang him. <laughs> it just looks. <laughs> the stupid oh orange tube. <laughs> I don't know why. I- as funny as I do, but every single video, no, it is, every, it is. every video I see, I like, like the, the, I like the close up. You can see the pain in his, in his little <laughs> his little eyes. Every single every. Google image was all for this stupid set. The orange. I honestly tube. like. I can't remember if I put that piece on because sometimes, sometimes if I think something stupid, I just don't do yeah, it. Yeah, I know. I kind of feel like mine might not have that piece okay. on it, but it also could have just flopped off. So I'm glad you reminded me. I'm going to skip ahead by, like, two waves, all right? And I'm, I'm going right. to bring up Witch Doctor from Hero Factory. Because okay. you just mentioned if there's yeah. something stupid, you know, you'll leave it off. Witch Doctor has the dumbest build thing that you'll ever see. I want you to take a look at this picture. I want you to take a look at his waist area where, like, the sockets, you know, connect to his legs, all right? You see right below his torso armor, he has this gray piece that's on like the right of his of his hip, and uh, a flat gray axle. And then on the left side, he doesn't have that gray piece, but he has a tan axle that isn't flat. I don't know if you know this yeah. about me, but I hate asymmetry. That made my eyes bleed, so I never built it that way. No, I definitely know that about you because I also have had that problem in the past. I've kind of managed to overcome it to some extent, but like when I was a kid and I built the Karapar set, I actually built one claw on each. Oh, nice. (laughs) On each side because I didn't like that he had like one claw on one side and then nothing on the other side, or I think he has like a launcher on the other side. That's funny. But. (laughs) Yeah. No, I hated this. Anyway. And my f- <clears throat> dumb yeah. stuff. The the stupid tube on, on bulk definitely qualifies as dumb stuff. <laughs> it looks it's so, an accessory. It looks so horrible. It looks really bad. I don't know why it exists. Cool but other thing. than that, it's a cool set. Um, I kinda like the way actually the double the double uh, arms looks better than the Cause it looks, I kind of, I like the color asymmetry though. Like I don't know, like it kind of reminds me of Split Face or something. Like having like the the black, it looks good. Like on the set, if you like, I mean, if I you get had it. the set, you might know. It's like, oh oh oh, it, oh, oh it you're gonna better. go there. You're gonna go there. If you're had it, you'll know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It just it 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 looks it just looks it looks cool to have like the the dark arm on one side and the. Um, I mean, I okay, know, okay. I'll admit, if you're gonna have the stupid, god awful piece of trash waste of plastic weapon arms, you may as well have one on each side instead of like a, a, a lanky looking skinny arm and then a weapon arm. Uh, so fair enough, I guess. I can I can get behind that. Just the weapon arms are like some of the worst Lego pieces ever made. I hate them. 
I hate him. I yeah. hate him with a passion. Also, to answer your question, last week the way mine broke was it the um I don't know the axle part broke off from the main part. Yeah. So yeah, that's how that's how that snapped off. Yeesh. Well, yeah, one point I mean, I'm gonna be real. I have I have everything but drop ship and bulk and vapor. Like I said, the heroes mm-hmm. are kind of trash. I hate to say it. They're really bad. Yeah. The villains are all cool. Yeah. The villains were legit. Even like no I... elbows, Von Nebula. He was pretty legit. Well, my problem with Von ne- Nebula is I would have rather. I I'm not. Like I'm not really that partial to the Hydraxon head in general, but then reusing it for a hero factory set, I thought was kind of lame. It was pretty lame. I won't lie. Um, especially since, like, literally every other set has, I think, I'm pretty sure every other set has a new mold. That was kind of a pet peeve for me as a kid, too, like, reusing masks and stuff. Yeah, I mean, if I wasn't a Bionicle fan, I wouldn't care, but I was, so I could tell. Oh, it was pretty bad. My problem with Von Nebula also, is, he's, is the main, he's the main <laughs> villain. He's the he's the big baddie. You should you should have an epic, you know, or at least make it like a re-release of a, an older Makuta head or something that would be like a good part. My problem with Von Nebula is he's a cool set. <clears throat> I like him. I like his head kind of. I like the Bo you know, stuff. I like the torso build. <clears throat> There's one thing I hate about him, above all else, and it's his arms. Look at those arms, Matora. Look at them. Burn them into your memory. Yeah. <laughs> they're skinny. They're gappy. They're flat. And they have no elbows. And he looks stupid. <laughs> he skipped arm day. You no, know, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, uh, I, I can't say there's a ton I'm super excited about when looking at this. Said it definitely looks like a bionicle block. <laughs> it kind of does look like a ten-year-old's like Makuta reborn mock. This is like your your evil like twin made like a Mesonac mock hey. with the skull mask, <laughs> but it's like black, all black. You gonna mock Instead my edginess? <laughs> this is this is this is the edgier. Mesonac oh my from a god. different Mesonac dimension. Oh my god. Well, you know what sucks is like we, we got a render of him from the show where they gave him like mm-hmm. better arms and just look at how he, he, he looked, you know, in the Aww. show. Just for comparison's sake, the uh, the show render. They have some cool they have some cool like sets that weren't sets in the show. Like they have like these giant like I think they're it, I think it's in Rise of the Rookies, they have these like giant drones. You mean the giant mech that, like, they fought in the flashback? Yeah. Do you know the story behind that? It's like... Was it a set? Because it looks buildable. Like, I kind of want to see if I could make it. Okay. Matora, I'm very curious about this. Um, You as a Hero Factory fan. Because you're talking about the drone that was in, like, Von Nebula's origin story, right? Yeah. No, I, I, like... I just remember when I was watching... When I was watching the show, um, like last week or whatever, there was. Yeah. You're talking about this yeah, thing. Because I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know exactly. what the story behind this is? No. Okay. I'm about to blow your mind here. So, this thing, for people who don't know what we're talking about, in Rise of the Rookies, you know, the backstory for Vaughn Nebula. Is that him, Stormer, and this dude called Thresher were sent to fight this giant robot. He was attacking a city. You know, Thresher got defeated. Uh, Stormer was arguing with, you know, Von Ness, which was his name, over whether to attack or wait for backup. Uh, and Von Ness ran away. Because he was a coward. And then, Which, oh my gosh, was that was like one of the worst parts of any of the Hero Factory It, it was god awful. It was so... It was, uh, it was a horrible origin story. Well... What you might not know about uh, about His our weird voice. What you might not know about our buddy, uh, our buddy Silver here, his name, yeah, is that uh, there was a contest on BZ Power, which was uh, hosted by Lego, and it was, "Hey, build a giant robot. We're gonna we're gonna do something with it." 
and uh, they had a contest to build a mock of this, you know, robot. That was the only description given. It was just um, BZ Power. BZ Power. Build a giant robot. Well... You mean Bionicle Zone Power. Yes. This was back at the time when Bionicle was still going on. Um, That's so messed up. Some contest. kids poured, poured dreams. Some kids poured dreams indeed. Because uh, this Mach 1, you see it right there, right? The actual drone Mach. Yeah. Do Looks you know so who made this Mach? It's really good. Uh, the person who made this Mach no. is a little someone who you might know uh, that goes by the name of Vardaran. <laughs> That, yeah, that was gonna be by by your, your your tones. Oh wait, is this the is this the mock that he got he got paid for? Yes. So you and then he couldn't cash the check because his yes his, because it was a European check and the date was like reversed or exactly. something. Exactly. Like so you do know the story. Okay. Cool. Yeah, but uh, I but that makes it even better because I'm linking up two bits of information. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty wild. Uh, but yeah, Var, Var made That's seller. crazy. So oh the answer gosh. to your question is yes, it can very well, easily be built. Well, congrats to him. That was a, it's so cool looking. It is pretty cool. I, I was, that was like the only thing enjoyable about that part of that show was just the like, drone. wow, this is actually like a really cool robot in this show. Why isn't this a set? And it was a mock. <laughs> The answer is, it's probably, like, way too many parts to be it, a good set. It was. He had to actually, like... Because they asked him for, like, high-quality pictures, but he had already disassembled the mock by the time they asked for that. So he had mm. to rebuild the mock, and he wasn't confident enough that he could give high-quality pictures, so he just had to, like, mail the mock to Lego. And they were like, yeah, we'll reimburse you. Wow. That's crazy. It's pretty wild. My mind's blown, but I'm just not being... Emotive? <laughs> like, yeah. That's alright. <laughs> I'm processing. Here a factory, PM, where we're chill and don't react to revolution. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. 1.0 no, was the, yeah, bizarre. Whoa. Uh, Von Nebula was the weakest of all the villains. Like, they were all better than sad. him. sad. He could have been so cool. He could have been cool, big black villain. Wow. Even Thunder was cooler than him. And Thunder's pretty lame. <laughs> but he, he was cooler. Uh, but Rotor. Rotor's my man. Rotor's, like, my, yeah. my boy. <laughs> best, best, one of the best HF villains. Like, top, top three easy, at least in, like, build. Not so much in the story. He was kind of a joke. But... He has, like, some of the coolest packaging I know, art he ever. gets to come back, at, at, at least. That's true. He gets too cool. He has some of the coolest packaging ever, where he's just, like, flying down in the cityscape. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, he's really good. The only, but, I mean, the only thing about him is I feel like he should have eyes. Eyes would be nice. <laughs> I, uh, I agree with you there. The mask is kind of, kind of wild. He, he looks straight out of uh, the Fintoka series. Like, just... He does. I could tell. I mean, all, all the friggin' villains look like Bionicle villains. Like, I'm gonna be real. They, they, they all do. They, 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 they basically are. Like you mentioned last week, the heroes were, like, recognizable as new robotic characters. But, like, all the villains just look like Bionicle rejects. Explode looks like a Paraka. Meltdown looks like a Baraki. Yeah, you're right. Like they and it doesn't help that they didn't they didn't introduce their new building system at this point in time. Yeah. Like the villains have no characteristics to set them apart. I think at least the heroes I think have the Meltdown. H. Meltdown is a pretty solid hero factory looking villain. He looks like a Baraki. Oh, you're right. Oh my god. He's got like the eye and he's got the tentacle that call the head and he's got the Mantax claws. He's literally like just like a fan fiction that's like a that's it, yeah and Thunder looks like a Hordika. Yeah. Like you could <laughs> you could write a fan fiction where it's like all these guys that tried out for these teams and didn't didn't make quite make the cut. <laughs> and then they they go to Hero Factory cuz it's like, like the only one and like Corroder looks like a uh, like a Makuta. He looks like a Mystica Makuta. He's like yeah. Gorast. He has like the Gorast arms yeah. and then the Shadow yeah. Matoran or feet. So, 
they're all like just the Bionicle Villains Club rejects. Um, Makuta looks like generic. I mean, sorry, I literally called him Makuta. Von Nebula looks like generic evil, like big bad Makuta dude, and Rotor's like a Fantoka villain. So I, this does this does at this point make me question, like, if a few of these might have been earlier designs for other Bionicle sets. I'm gonna be real; it would not surprise me one bit. Because I really see what you're talking about with this corridor. Like, he definitely looks like he could have been a, a throwaway. Like, because he looks like a he looks like a rhinoceros beetle. Yeah. Like, I could have seen if you'd colored him darker, or like, uh, like I or navy or something. I could have seen him being another like in Cardinue. Yeah. I mean, I I would love to know how long HF was in development, and but more than that, how long CCBS was in development. Because it would not surprise me if they built HF around this new build system and then were like, but if we release it right after Bionicle, people are going to hate it. So they wanted to like do a wave to ease Bionicle fans in. And so they just kind of like used some old designs. But that would not surprise me one bit. They shouldn't have done it. They shouldn't have done it that way, though. They should have they should have made people hungry for it. For I like agree. A year. They should have been like no no CCBS for you no no construction. I'm I sorry. completely no agree. No construction for any of you. <laughs> Only Ben Ten. Because it's just so funny when I look at the the HF sets. Aside from the masks, and I guess like that one like claw piece and the spikes, there really aren't any HF exclusive parts on any of them. Like their legs, they have like Ben Ten and Metru legs for like all of them, and then they use Bionicle feet. You know, Glatorian hands, uh, like Bionicle limbs, even like Bionicle style weaponry. There, there is no identifier aside from like that flat piece that they put stickers on. Um, that those are like HF characters, like basically at all. Yeah. So that's just interesting. Yeah. In short, though, it's a it's a weird like it's it. a weird first wave for sure. It's a weird introduction. I would have definitely changed a few things if I were them, and I'm sure there would too in hindsight. It was enough to get me hooked, but only because I fell into the trap, because I was one of those former Bionicle fans, and I was like, these are basically just more Bionicle sets. Gimme. Um, yeah, and they're more Bionicle parts, too. Yeah. I mean, it's almost advertised that way, if you think about it, with like the whole like build a hero kind of a thing. Like, mm -hmm. They're like more pieces for you guys. From the makers of Bionic. Ooh. <laughs> but then we... Oh, yeah, and they even had, like, vehicles. You should get Inferno Bike one day. It's really cool. Uh, no, yeah, it's definitely... It's definitely up there. But, yeah, Hero Factory, some of these sets, like... Certain sets are, like, absurdly hard to get for some reason if you try to get them after their release date. Really? Inferno Bike's one of them that's a little harder to get, yeah. Um, I've tr I've I've lost like two bid bid wars trying to get Rocket XL. Wait, really? Yeah. Uh, I don't think he's that much. Let me say Rocket XL Lego. I looked at it. I think I was looking at it about like a year ago or something, and it it was really hard to find a Rocket XL. Okay, I found one. You can get it for the low, low price of $226.28. Brand new. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. He's got that gold prestige. That's what it is. Yeah, I know. He's got that Rocka swag. You know, it's all the other Rocka fangirls coming at him. They just want to buy him up. I know. <laughs> Hot commodity. <laughs> or I could buy, like, a super beat up one. It says hard to find new. Yeah, they know. Yeah. I could just, I could get it for like 60, 60 bucks. There's a lot of ones or that look it, really good, even like though they 100. are used. Um, but I understand why you wouldn't want to do that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it just it just takes out some of the. It's like if if you're gonna buy a set, it takes out some of the fun. I respect that. Well, let's talk about 2.0 because 2.0, um, it was pretty interesting because I'll never forget. I was in school. Uh, when I saw the 2.0 pictures, we were doing some computer assignment, and I decided to, like, see if I could bypass the web restrictions and go on, like, uh, Eurobricks. 
to just check because I knew we were expecting set leaks. And I saw the 2.0 set, and then I got called away to uh, do some other work. And so I got like a brief five second glimpse of them and <laughs> thought I was like in a fever dream, like nightmare hellscape, or that I was looking at bootlegs. And then I had to wait like seven hours to uh to see what was actually up with them. I thought they the 2.0 sets were were fake. I really did because like they they were such a bold like departure from everything that we had ever gotten. But I was really into the whole leak uh, scene for them to the point where I actually I, I was smart and I uploaded a bunch of preliminary pictures of them to a brick shelf gallery. Uh, even though like my shows got taken down, brick shelf is still up. So I actually have preserved the initial 2.0 leaks for HF. And uh, they literally put Ferno 2.0 Goggle Man like front and center on the uh, on the mm -hmm. advertisement page. Uh -huh. And they know they know the goggles are where it's at. And then the villains. Also, I couldn't I couldn't find the I couldn't find the leaks of um, McBrainy. Oh. Or or Bill Billdozer. Well, that's in my gallery. Don't you worry about a thing. Even though I guess it's too late now, but. Um, hey, you know what? we we can I can put it right here in this in this video. It's in the top right of that picture. If you zoom in, all the name all oh, the names are okay, there. Okay, okay, okay. And yeah. I will say, despite my hatred for Ferno, um, this is a pretty epic poster right there, with all the heroes walking forward and Fire Lord in the background. Back when he still had his claw, I've never forgiven them for taking away Fire Lord's claw. And I will probably hate Lego's guts until the day I die for getting rid of that claw. Because that claw was freaking epic. Even though it was the most generic, like, eight-year-old claw. I think it's literally identical to the same claw they used in Hydraxon. But look at that claw. Yeah, yeah. Look at that guy with his, like, horrible-looking color scheme. I think, I think it's the same claw with different claw pieces. Yeah. Like, instead of the Brocky spikes, it's the... The rubbery ones. It just added a lot to his look for me, even though it's pretty basic. But look at that. I love how the prelim picture makes the transparent red look like ketchup red. That's the only way I can describe that. Like, those, those pieces on his legs. It's it's not good. It's not good. Mm. Uh, but they can put... I have really mixed feelings about a lot of the Titans, because it's like, they're pretty cool in some ways, but then they are very gappy. Most HF Titans are horrible. Like, um, I'll be the first to admit that. I like some of them, but they used to do the whole double leg thing, you know? And it basically never yeah, worked. Yeah, no, it's just... It's it's like if you take the leap of imagination and you just, like, don't worry about it, it they're, like, fine. But, like, it, if I hear you, you, like, analyze the builds, it's like, oh no, like, I, I like, I, I, yeah, I was looking at my Storm Raxel the other day, and I was like, oh my gosh, wait a second, I could just, like, rip this back off so easy, compared to, like, if you look at, like, a Brutaka build or something like that. No, like, yeah, the really, Titans are pretty yeah, whack, like, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of them are bad. Witch Doctor, um, well, yeah, Witch Doctor, um, Ferno XL... And that's basically it. <coughs> Those are basically the only HF Titans I would consider good. <coughs> I wish you hadn't told me about this claw thing. Now I'm also very upset. Hey, it's I'm, so cool! I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm like, he would. It's, why does he just have this stupid launcher thing? It looks so bad! And look! Like the way. He has custom, like, and it's feet not like... design, too. It's like. How much did you ever use launchers as a kid? Never. Yeah, like I like literally like every time I use a launcher, I always lose one, and it it annoys me too much. So I always I just never put the ammo in. There was one so launcher like, that I used ever, and that was the Rotuka launcher back in 05. I used I used the squid launcher. I was all over the squid launcher. Okay, can I show, can I show you something funny? So <laughs> Fire Lord's actual box art. All right. So first, uh -huh. first of all, you can see when you compare it, like, he looks a lot more cohesive when they got rid of the red and gave him, like, the lava stuff, but he also looks a lot more, a lot more boring when they didn't, uh, you know, because he used to have the launcher combined. 
Yeah. They give it to him separately. Anyway, they have him, they have the weapon, like, hiding his legs on the packaging, which I find hilarious, because you look at the actual set, and I mean, <laughs> but you can see why they hit mm-hmm. it. <laughs> you can see why they hit mm-hmm. it. Because he looks like a freak show. He's got spaghetti legs. He needs a claw. <clears throat> he does. He needs his freaking claw. Where's my claw, Lego? I'm waiting. One day. Why would it? They'll re-release. It seems like that would have been, like, was that really that much more expensive, you know? I guess maybe they were just like, kids are dumb. Kids can't build the claw. Just give us one big, I would settle for the solid plastic pieces. I'd be okay with that as long as he gets a claw. Give him the, give him the rock of, the rock of fist. He needs something. The the launcher thing did no. didn't work. It doesn't it doesn't jive for me personally. <clears throat> um But no. 2.0 in general was weird. Like all the villains were just kinda like equally janky. They they were basically just testing CCBS. That's all it was. Um they themselves are all kinda whack as builds go, especially Nitro Blast. Nitro Blast was by far and above the weirdest one. Um, but, I mean, they did what they were supposed to do well enough, I guess. Jetbug gets the award for the coolest, like, villain packaging ever. It's just one of the... Well, also, he's got he's got a sick sick headpiece. Oh. Sick he- headpiece. Oh, yeah. Very, very, very sick. Very sick dual-ended headball. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> I thought that was so cool. Like, it blew my mind. Oh, yeah. Totally. <laughs> no. They're, they're all kind of weird. He's got buck teeth. It's great. Well, that's... I like all the printed armor pieces as well. I'm into that. You like that? Yeah. I always thought it was weird. I would have rather them given them multiples. Like, Fire Lord had four. But all the others only have, like, one. And I was never clear what they were supposed to be. It's basically just, like, symbols, you know? That's true. They just they just kind of slapped those on. So Nitro Blast's a weird set. a weird head when you... Yeah. Because, um, you know, most, like I was saying, the Titan villains have, like, the double legs. But Nitro Blast has the double arm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This is a Gladiatorian piece also on the end of his... On the end of his his little his little shield piece, right? Nope, is not. It's a Jeff only. Just similar. Nope. Okay, all right. Oh wait, is that the one that they recolored for the the super like send away, like create your own hero set? I think so. Yes. Yeah. I'm almost okay. positive. It looks really similar to the one of the. I think it's like a armor piece on Gelu, to me. Gelu, Gelu. The Glatorian, the second one. Uh, is it Gelu or Strax? Nobody ever talks about. <laughs> no, yeah, Strax. The... Strax the, it, I I think Gelu is the one with that shield piece though that I'm thinking of. But Gelu has a snowflakes. That much I know. He's a special snowflake, Gelu. Um, oh, wait, yeah, maybe you're right, maybe it's Strack. SMH, you don't even know your favorite Bonkle. S- w- who has the- somebody has these- What you're thinking who of has... is m- my boy, get him, yeah, wh- get him Strack, who has the ice shoulders. No, 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 but I'm not thinking of his shoulder pieces, I'm thinking of- am I going crazy? You like... are. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, if I find it later, I will insert it in in the video as an as an image. But I, do. I'm thinking of like a three pronged jelly piece. Three pronged that was used in Bionicle. Yeah. Oh wait, I think I know what you're talking about. Um, I think it's Kina. Yeah, maybe it's Kina. because Kina I, I, I had just... a fin piece. That was three prong. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's what I'm thinking of. Nice. Yeah, it's way bigger. I just knew it was. I just knew it was some Gwatorian shoulder piece. I just. You're not. I have not seen not those wrong. sets in a you long had, time. I mean, you had good memory. You knew it was a Gwatorian. Um, 
It's just Kina, Kina attaches with like an axle, and it's huge. The fire piece is tiny, and it's two pins. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Can we talk about 3.0? Oh. too. Anyways. Can we, can we talk about 3.0? Oh, my boy, Witch Doc. Yes. Best set ever wait, made. Wait, 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 wait. It's time for explanations. You know, if there's one thing that needs to be said when it comes to Hero Factory, it is that Witch Doctor is by far the best set of the entire line. If there's, there's just there's just no contest. Like, the, the one little complaint that I would have is that he has, like, tiny hands. But otherwise, he's the only true sort of titan that we got, at least with, like, a proper construction that was kind of not just a stretched out normal body you know i kind of felt like uh, the decisive rock xl at uh, fire lord kind of stretched out he had like this weird hip issue that i did not like but but witch doctor on the other hand you know there's there's it's really the complaints it's got a unique build you know just just imagine going to the hero factory restaurant and you're just like oh waiter i, I don't know what to, i don't know what to pick you know they they kind of they went like the aliens route one time you know they even got like a like minifigures one year there's just this this is all over the place what do you what do you recommend and the waiter is just like i recommend the witch doctor he has a staff that has a skull head on top of it that is also his head. It's just like, genius, yeah, I'll, t I'll take 20. For go, 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 buy, buy, buy. I don't really know what happened, honestly. Like, Hero Factory, like, how did it not take over the world? It's got Witch Doctor. I, honestly, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Okay, so so now we're going to be, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Witch Doctor, still, to this day, it's been like, how many years? Like nine years, almost? He's still my favorite mm -hmm. construction set, and probably will always be, for one simple reason. What do you like so much about him? He is Skull Boy. He I is, see. to this day, the only set ever made to have just a skull. You know, no paraca, where you have this stupid rubber spine that covers it up. Okay, yeah, nothing okay, else. Okay, no, I don't own this set. I'm curious, is it the same headpiece? What do you mean? Like, is the skull he's holding, is that a different piece no, it's than the, his headpiece? No, it's the same piece. Oh. Witch Doctor, uh, he has a little bit of a, a little bit of a story. He's very, very dark. Because if you look at the, uh, if you look at the box art for Raka XL, you can oh, see. Oh, you know I have. You, you, you have. You can see Witch Doctor's lair that Raka excels in, and he's like, he's fighting in. No, 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 yeah, I was looking at this, um, because, I was, yeah, I was, I was looking at this the other day, and I was like, what the hell are all these little skulls in People and always stuff, think or... Core Hunter's the biggest mass murderer, but Witch Doctor yeah. invented the concept. <laughs> He's lined the friggin' walls with, you know, some people do soundproofing foam. He's like, no, I'll line my walls with skulls. <coughs> he is, he is a role model to live by. And yes. He's definitely, like, the only, like, standout villain in the TV series as well. Oh, yeah. I love his, I his ever-shifting like. accent. <laughs> no, that's because that... That's because it's not consistent at all. He goes from, like, being, like, I, like, he's, like, it's always tinging on having a little bit of a Jamaican flair. Really? But, like, they wouldn't, they wouldn't, like, quite commit to the witch doctor voice, you know? So it's kind of... They wanted to do, like, a half measure. Oh, so no. it's just, like, every <laughs> once in a while he has that accent, but, it, yeah. Bizarre. It's weird, but it's good. It's, it's, it's a... Yeah, he's good. He also has my favorite, like, preliminary box art ever. Um, and also is just preliminary design. I kind of like better. Uh, but unfortunately, because Maj Host went down, it's kind of been wiped from the internet. Um, although, weirdly enough... Okay, scratch that. Friggin' Walmart has a witch doctor on sale for one hundred and eighty four ninety nine. 
that uses a picture of his preliminary box art. So, I don't know. The world's a topsy-turvy place. His initial box art had black upper legs and uh, a much more elaborate staff. Uh, if anything, as what... Yeah, that's, that's significantly uh, cooler. They definitely were thinking about giving him a different... I th- I just I don't know something bugs me about having the exact same piece on the staff like it would be much cooler if it was at least this looks like it's at least a recolor it is uh, it's black so you know I, I will admit the staff's the one thing that kind of uh, kind of went down a little bit that and the the torso armor like it flipped upside down and I just I like the prelim version better I'll admit but I still love him he's my boy he always will be. Um, there will never be a villain I like quite as much, even though he didn't really do anything in the show. He was kind of a loser, <laughs> but he was still probably one of the standout villains. <laughs> no, I love him. I love I love villains that are just having fun. <laughs> like he's just like the, and also just like all his interactions with his goons are so good. Like it's just like he's just like we need more, and they're like no. Oh, it's doctor, and he's like more, and then they're just like yes, more. <laughs> we need more. No, it's doctor. <laughs> more. <laughs> All right, more. <laughs> he just wants his quasa, man. Come on, leave him alone. Quasa. Drug addicts got an addict, you know. Yeah. It's just how it has to be. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, a little off topic, but I uh, I found Chima at my dollar store, so I've been watching a little bit of Chima on the side. Do not be sacrilegious. <laughs> Do not have straight, Chima straight on the drugs. side. <laughs> straight drugs. No, that's all it is, literally. It's just steroids, straight the drugs. show. Um, yeah. It's actually pretty funny. And it's even funnier to me that the steroids just like, give them construction figures. Yeah. Like... <laughs> They're pretty decent construction figures. They are. I'm, I'm ashamed to admit it. I feel like I'm a, I'm a heretic, but they're pretty decent. But now, speaking of animals, yeah. 3.0. Um, I think personally, 3.0 is my is my favorite line. I think most of my sets are from this wave. Real. Um. Yeah, and. I yeah I really I like I really like this wave I feel like the heroes in this wave were the best I feel like a lot of the other waves the heroes I can pick a lot of holes and why I don't like them but in this wave I'm like oh these are these are so- <coughs> explain to me what's good also, about Rocka three point oh are are you joking <laughs> explain are you are you explain he's oh he's he's a golden lion with a giant lion paw and a cool printed piece with a lion on it. His head looks stupid. It's so <laughs> I love it. <laughs> He's my favorite Rocka. That's why it's like I want the Rocka XL so bad. I have this I have the Rocka 3.0 and I want the Rocka XL so bad because it's like I don't care how poorly it's built. I know I will love it because it is big and it is Rocka. <laughs> And it has this Rocka mask on it, and it is it is so cute, and I love. I feel like Rocka would be better if the eyes of the lion were more pronounced, but because the eyes of the person are visible underneath, yeah, he's got a little bit of the he's got the rotor eye, the rotor eye. It just I could never see it as a lion head. I just always see it as a turban. I've never been able to not see it as (laughs) as a dinosaur head. It looks like to me when I look at it, it looks more like a. What is it? Triceratops. Ooh, personally. I can see that. But, yeah. Also, Rock XL has two printed lion shoulder Ooh. pieces. Ooh, two. So, I my, know. My mistake. Exactly. You could Super combine best. you could combine Rocka 3.0 with Rocka XL and make Rocka XXL. <laughs> 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 you could have three printed shoulder pieces. Will you, will you do that when you get this set? Will you play? Yeah, probably. Probably. Alright. I agree. The probably is like, will I want to take apart my Rocka XL set? I don't know. Yeah, I respect that. Um But yeah, no, I, I think that I think that this this wave is the best hero wave for me because of the animal theme. Um, LJ talks about like 
how in some of the Bionicle themes he wished they'd dumble down on the animals, the animal, yeah. like, motif more. And I think that in this way, they kind of did the best job of it. Even, in, well, I don't know. Like, the Brocky do a better job of it than this wave, but... The heroes do a pretty they good. do a pretty good job. And I mean, all the villains are awesome, too. Like, every single one of them. Fangs, Rawjaw, Waspix, even Scorpio. <laughs> Not so much, but he's still Poor up there. Raja. They're, they're some of the best, like, villains, just build-wise, and they're also hilarious. Like, there are three names that perfectly symbolize Hero Factory to me. <laughs> it is Jimmy Stringer, Explode, and Raw Jaw. Uh, Raw, yeah, Raw Jaw, not... perhaps, is the most memeable. I don't know. I think I think Fangs is my boy. Fangs! Here, that they were just... <laughs> what, the Z? what are we naming this? Fangs with a Z. <laughs> <laughs> all the kids Lost will love it. just sounds like a Pokemon. He does. He really does. All the kids will love fangs. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Oh, that's right. You were probably focus group testing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's awesome. I love it. I miss your they were partner. like, they were like, okay, what, what, what do you want? And I'd just be like, Raka, more Raka, bigger Raka, <laughs> bigger Raka. <laughs> Building sized this rocket. Is my, this is my my line. Did you ever get jet rocket? Jet rocket, no. But I've eyed it because it's actually one of the more reasonable um, bigger sets. I'll tell you. I'll online. tell you why it's reasonable. It's because nobody nobody likes it. It has my. Uh, you, can get that, you can get that sucker for like forty bucks new. It has my time, my least basically. favorite rocket ever. Oh, he he looking good. He on a diet. <laughs> Oh, he gotta be slim for the machine. He gotta fit in his fit in his his jetpack. <laughs> he looks so stupid. I want this more now. What's wrong with me? Get it. Yeah. No, I I I will. If there, if there's one, well, like eventually, I want to get like. Most of the Hero Factory sets, yeah. but definitely all the Raka sets, because, you know. It's all right. I'm so happy that we can, like, do this. I'm so happy to, to finally, like, meet somebody who actually, like, cares. <laughs> Everybody else just says I'm, like, crazy with a, like, fanboy operation. <laughs> but it's so good. It's just so entertaining. How could anyone ever, like, dislike this? I don't know. It's so fun. Oh. Not everything needs to be super dark, like try hard, edgy. Sometimes, like I know, I keep, I just keep thinking about like this is this is also the wave where the show started getting good because yeah. like they started getting more slapsticky. Like the first, you know, the first one they have to give everybody tragic anime backstories, but then <laughs> yes. like by this time they're just like they're just like, hey, what about this character Raka? He's here he, now. He just comes and, out of nowhere. And... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh boy! It's like, hey, I'm Raka. Who are you? Oh, I'm, I'm the cool guy. <laughs> it's such a, it's such a, it's so good. Like as a plot device, like like all Rakas aside, like if you just think about like if you have a character like Ferno, who's like kind of not really that angsty, like giving him just that slight comp, com- like competitive edge is so funny. He needed it. Inferno's Tahu needed his Kopaka, basically, is what it yeah. boils down to. Yeah. Except for his Kopaka is just, like, an even more Tahu Tahu. Yeah. <laughs> just, who can be more aggro? Basically. <laughs> also, like, I think at one point they have a tiny Raka XL on the show, which is kind of funny. They did! Because he had to, like, he had to build it from, like, parts, right? And they no, had no, to... no! It's like, it's like they get they accidentally set their phasers or something to the wrong size, so it's like he's basically like set size for some some period of time in the show. That's interesting. Which is just kind of bizarre. I need to rewatch. I miss I miss all these things. I'd watch it again with you if you want to watch. Please it do, again. please. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, all right. That's three point Okay. Let's talk about breakout so now- <laughs> acceleration of fear breakout. Now this one I definitely have. I have toxic Reaper because I had I had yeah to. boy. 
He's 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 the best one. <laughs> Toxic <laughs> Reaper. No, my favorite is Speed That Demon. Wait, actually, wait, wait a sec, wait a second. Yeah, yeah. Speed That Demon. Never forget. He's really good too. The names are so funny. Uh, um, breakout. Uh, that's a hard. For me, Breakout is my favorite wave uh, because number one, I like having all the heroes together. Uh, I hate how in every other wave, some are missing. Um. I feel like whenever I associate in my mind with what they look like, these forms are, are definitely like up there for me as like the appearances, uh, particularly like was actually... Evo and Stringer. I was wrong. What? I have I have more breakout sets because I have like almost all the villains here and stuff. We're flipped. I have all the heroes, but I'm missing uh, a few of the villains. <clears throat> I have, yeah, I know I have Voltix and Core Hunter and Splitface. And then I have a smattering of... And then I have Toxic Reaper. Yeah, so I guess I have more of these sets, actually. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Who the More you know. But, I mean, yeah. I made it my mission to get actually, all the heroes, I, I, just because I wanted to have them all as a, as a unit. Uh. No, yeah, for this wave, it's like... This is, like, probably... I have mixed feelings about this wave, because I feel like this should have been the first wave in some ways. Like... Yeah. Like... If this had come out just by itself, I would have been, like, amazing. But since it came out after the rookies, I feel like I would have liked to see some kind of variant in the face printing. Because, like I said, that's kind of a pet peeve of mine when they reuse face pieces. Yeah, I respect that. I mean, it's an interesting but, like, question now that you mention it. Like, obviously you're talking about from, like, a set perspective, but I'm even thinking of the story. Like, what if, what if Breakout had been the first wave? And the gimmick no, was, I was like... No, I was also thinking about it from the story. I was thinking the story in Rise of the Rookies is kind of lame, and the story in Breakout is much more interesting, and if they'd I mean, it just, just makes sense. Like, like it, it, it's an understandable premise. Like, oh no, villains, bad villains have escaped. Catch them. Like, anybody can understand that. You don't really need a large, like, angsty, horrible yeah. backstory. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. a lot of people's retort would be... But, you know, if you do that, then you, you ruin the potential to have old villains show up again in in the prison break. And I'm like, they didn't do that. They missed that yeah. opportunity completely. Like, they showed up in the show as cameos, but they weren't a focus of the story. Also, it would, <coughs> if, you, if you mix the two stories together, and it would make more sense why, like, a character like Vaughn Nebula would be resurfacing. Yeah. You know? And then you can tell his backstory in a way that doesn't, like, suck. Yeah. Dang. You and I should rewrite HF. Better than ever. <laughs> uh, it's, no. It's, it's Matoro and Meso's HF fanfiction. I love it. HF the reboot. <laughs> nah. I'm like, <clears throat> I love Breakout. I love it a lot. Heroes are yeah. okay, but the villains are really where it's at. Even though I like having all the heroes together at once, some of them are a little, a little I don't off. Know, the heroes are really good too. They're really Ferno's good. okay. <coughs> Aquatic white legs. Fer Ferno wearing the white shorts underwater. <laughs> you know. Um, Surge with like the lime green gloves. I feel like some of the colorations are a little bit, a little bit off. Um, I just feel like this was the wave that like the heroes kind of finally broke free of some of the bionicness looking. Oh, for sure. Ness. They're all like super they kind unique. Of, <coughs> yeah, it's like the first wave they basically look like Bionicles. <coughs> the second wave they look Weird. like Hero Factory, but they're all pretty similar looking. And the the third wave they're just kind of yeah, just kind of odd looking. They don't really look like themselves because they're all animals. And then this wave you get like the real, like the. This wave really feels like a first wave to me, I guess, in a lot of There's ways. There's one thing I hate about Breakout, and it's what kind of keeps it from being, like, the best thing since sliced bread, even though it is my favorite. Don't say Voltix. I love Voltix. He's the most mess of a set ever. <laughs> no, don't worry. Um, it's the hero course. <laughs> I don't like that they're white, and I don't like that they started the trend of them all being white. I liked how they were another accent color. Um... But ever since Breakout, they, they all lost it. It's just white. I like the printed plates, though. Yeah, fair. 
I'll sacrifice anything for printed I've, I've, I've noticed it. What, what's with you and printing? <laughs> I just, I like it. Because they didn't do it in Bionicle. And then so, like, when they started doing it in Hero Factory, I was like, I love this. And then I went back and I found the Throwbots and the Robo Riders. And I was like, this is great. <laughs> this, this is, is great. Fabulous. I love this. All right. Look at, like, the the lax racers, like, because I like the designs. I think they're cool. Yeah, I respect that. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think that they work really well in the Hero Factory stuff, too. It just adds a lot. Now, there's... Especially since the pieces are so simple. Yeah, you're totally right. There's one thing I must call out with Breakout, and it's the hidden gem of the entire wave. And it is, uh, it is Combiner Models. I've showed you this. I'm going to show the audience. Behold. The best combo model to ever exist. Oh my god. Stormer XL and Speeda Demon <laughs> form to make Wheelman. Is there a tinge of sarcasm here? No, he's <laughs> he's legit. If you like Voltix, you can like this guy too, alright? <laughs> this guy's funny. He's got a wheel sword. How could you not like somebody who has a wheel like the sword? Umbra of Hero Factory. He really is, though. I don't know whoever. Like, I love him. Don't get me wrong. But who greenlit that set? I was like, yes. We're done. I know. Compared <laughs> to all finished. the other villains, too. It's just like, you know, he's like the, he's the real... He's got the gunmetal you know, and the red and the purple and the yellow and the blue. And <laughs> he's just got like a million colors, which, I mean, I guess works. Because he's meant to be like, you know, Lightning Man. But... I feel like on paper this would have sounded amazing. You know? And then you see it. Yeah. Like, you're just. There's some you're like, oh man, we're gonna make a villain. Villain. Yeah. A villain. He's gonna be a lightning villain. He's gonna have. He's gonna have lightning antlers. And. And a purple. A purple body. And. And then we're gonna. He's gonna be. It's gonna be amazing. You know? And then it's just. You see it. And it's just like, wow. I'm gonna be real. I'm just. I was too much of a sucker for purple. I didn't care. The set could have been, like, vomit-colored, but with three purple pieces, and I still would have bought it. I know. So Lightning Man's all right. Um, it kind of works. No, I love this set. I, I, I have this It works in movie. some, like, poses. He's just kind of weird, but in a good way. In, like, an endearing no, way. Oh, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And how, lest, lest we forget just a random tentacle. my favorite hero ever, and that is Stringer Breakout. Never before has there been a hero as epic as he wielding his guitar, which for some reason people in TTV still vehemently say is not a guitar, even though it's literally just like, you know, a flying V, a reverse flying V, uh, which is the guitar used by Jimi Hendrix. Uh, you know, very, very obvious homage there, mm -hmm. but people don't accept it. Alas, Stringer Breakout will always be there. Even when times are dark. Also, I'm gonna go turn my TV down. I will be right back. Okay, I'll just entertain you guys. So let me tell y'all about why Stringer Breakout's the best hero ever made. All right, number one, he's got transparent blue. Number two, he's got a guitar. Number three, he's, uh, yeah. he's got a country Sorry. accent. I have to edit this anyway, so I don't oh, care. All right, I'll cut it out. I just, I just wanted to like. Make sure, because it was starting to sound a little loud to me, but I think my mic is, like, uh, close, like, it's the type of mic that's not going to pick up that kind of noise. So we should be Yeah, okay. fair enough. Good call, either way. Anyways. Um, no, we're just educating People them all singing. on the merits of Stringer Breakout. <laughs> I was like, number one, he's got blue. Number two, he's got a guitar. Number three, he's got a country accent. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Because one of the things I wasn't sure about with this set was the blue. I mean, it was weird, for sure. I kind of feel sure. like I liked, the, I liked the black and orange, and I wasn't sure if I liked, liked this change-up. Yeah. You know? I respect that. I think that. I would have gone more for... I would have gone for black and green quicker than I would have gone for black and blue. Well, maybe. it's because Bulk freaking cannibalized his color scheme. I fully blame Duncan Bulk for everything, all the problems Stringer ever went through. Yeah, they were fighting for each other's color scheme all the way back when. You know, because he got, he, he got his friggin' orange in the Hero Core. Uh, I like how I just was complaining about 
them taking away the colors away. I know I'm complaining about the colors, but anyway. And then it was literally, it was, like a, it was like a race, all right? It was a race of who got made into an animal first. So when they brought him into 3.0, it was like, okay, do we have Bull? Do we have Stringer? It's like, well, we got to choose now because we're not doing transparent hero cores anymore. So we can't have the excuse. So they were like, all right, you know, Bull gets orange and Stringer, I'll give him Keet Orange. Um, so as a result of that, Stringer has never had a consistent color scheme across all his three iterations. F in the chat. Very sad. He's definitely well, that's one. okay, because he's too cool. He doesn't need consistency. He's got music. At least he's got black. He's got black. Um, yeah, can we talk about brain attack? Yes, we may, but I feel like we might have differing opinions on this. What is your opinions on Brain Attack? I like Brain Attack. What about Brain Attack? I think it's... I like it. <laughs> I think it's fun. Heretic! <laughs> no. I... I like... I like Frosty. <laughs> I think he's really good. <laughs> Evil snowman. And I, I love the... I love the little, like flippy head pieces on the heroes. Yeah, those are I, cool. I like it. They're some of my favorite sets, to be honest. But I Bruh. like the Hero Factory sets, so it's, like, kind of hard. But... I some like, of your favorite I like sets. <laughs> Alright. So, there's some some parts to these sets that I really like a lot. I mean, look. I'm not gonna flay you all I have. Only, only mostly. Um... Okay, my problem is every year I'm like, oh, I like I like these ones. Besides the first year, basically every year I, I have some things that I really like about them, so. I mean, look, there's not a single decide. HF wave I hate. I like Brand Attack, too. I love it. Um, pretty much everything. Also, I, I love the heroes and the villains. two words. Dragon Bolt. Yeah, there you go. Dragon, Dragon Bolt's pretty legit. Even though his TV show version was 10 million times cooler. Yeah. You know. Say lovey. Um, it's hard to make. It's hard out there for the for the CCBS dragons of this world. Oh, I know. It's hard to be a CCBS dragon. His tail was like tiny. There's nothing they could really do about it though. Because like the thing with Brain Attack is, I like the sets. They're all cool. The heroes are cool. The villains are like really cool. The problem, uh, problem really comes down to. Um... I lost the train of thought. To the brains. <laughs> You know, I'm not a fan of giant rubber parts. I was never a fan of it. I didn't like it with the Paraka. And I don't like it with HF sets either. The fact they were so, like, constricting. And you had to, like, plug them in. With the Paraka, I understand, because they had packaging issues. So some of them would get smooshed. But with these, I kind of... I don't really have that problem. And I think that they're an interesting concept. And they... With the with the beasts, they they look pretty good. They look like, pretty good, but it makes all their heads like flat and unusable for anything. You know. I think it depends on the the set, like how how janky they look. Like I have Aquagon and Frostbeast, and Frostbeast looks infinitely better than Aquagon because Aquagon he doesn't have enough going on up top or something. No, that's what it is. The heads are just like they're they're so flat. That's all it really comes down to. Um, my thing is I would have preferred, like, keep the brains. By all means, keep the brains. But make it to where they're not huge, they're not rubber, and they don't plug into the back of the torso. Like, just make them a piece, make them, like, a plastic part that goes on to the top of the head, like you wanted to. But you don't need to have the stupid tail. You don't need to have them hook into the back. Uh, because all that muscle, did was, then it won't be like a brain. I don't care. I do not. I literally do not care. I just care about looks. All that did, plugging it into the back, was make it to where they had to, like, you either had them stick straight out, you know, and look horrible, or you had to, like, fight with the piece to get it to bend properly. You know, like, it, it was one or the other. And it was never fun. Yeah. It was always annoying. It and it's horrible. also a little bit of that kind of, like, um... Like, I don't know what you would call them, like, the school villains or whatever kind of a thing, where it's, like, it, it makes the sets kind of flimsy, where they're not, like, easy to move around without, like, things popping off. Kind of. 
like my brain would constantly come disconnected and then yeah. it would just come like flying out i'm like this isn't fun where's my head pose ability lego um that sounds so dumb out of context <laughs> yeah i know right <sighs> But I mean, other than that, that's like the only thing I don't like, really. I like the visors, like you. I like the villains. They're they're all really different and cool. I like the concept. It's basically just Krana evolved, you know? It's just riffing mm-hmm. on Bionicle. It, for, like, in a sci-fi kind of a vibe. Yeah. They should have made them more collectible. That would have, that would have, that would have really pushed things over the edge. All I'm saying is... People would be down to collect them if they're not, like, huge, cumbersome, and ugly. And made of rubber. I think they're cute. I think they're adorable. They have big eyes. Very cute. Make also, them plastic. That's all you had to as do. A head piece, as a headpiece, they're not great. But if you just, like, if you if you get, like, the accessory pack, the little, the black one is, like, pretty cool as, an, as like, a extra piece that you can put on other characters like kind of more on their shoulders or their arms it works much better as like a body piece than it does as a head piece really yeah that's interesting because if it's not if it's not in a spot of like great mobility like if it's not on top of something that's supposed to be rotating it doesn't really flop off too bad that makes a lot of sense actually hmm because i had i had a I decked out my Breeze with a the Brain Attack poly bag for a while, and she had like she had the flame sword and like the um the black uh, brain kind of like slung around her shoulder, and it looked pretty good, and it didn't it didn't fall off. I mean, Back. I put I put the black brain on like a lot of different sets. Bruh, for real. This because you have it, you know. I mean, yeah, you use it or lose it, you know. Fair. Also, um, small, like, a uh, small mention, the, um, there was a, a line of, like, Korean, like, combiner sets sold for the, for this wave, which was kind of weird. Really? Yeah, you didn't know that? I did not know that. You're teaching me things. Similar to, like, the Japanese, the Japanese sets in what 2003 or whatever yeah the kabaya sets i remember those yeah they have um korean i wonder why similar to that they i don't know i don't know why the koreans got the got that and we didn't but they they had an ultimate (laughs) ultimate ultimate evo which is pretty funny um ultimate evo was it this right here um it's just like a combiner set, and it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah those are literally yeah. just the combiners that they've like packaged together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and there's, there's like five of these or something. Man, um, Aqu- Aquagon, Aquagon looks really stupid. He's, he's like one of the he's one of the dumbest looking I, sets ever. I think he might be the worst <laughs> Hero Factory set. I think he might be. <laughs> no, Evo Walker is worse. <laughs> Which is a good but if it's in that, that you get like a figure, you know? Yeah, I guess. Can I just this show these? Really, these are some really, really, spindly. really cool brain attack revamps by a guy on Flickr by the name of IGU. Uh, are feast you gonna feast your eyes on these. Okay. This is like, yeah, these are these are sick. These are insane. Scarox, Pyrox, Ogrum, and Bruiser. I forgot about Bruiser. The the, py- the Pyrox almost looks like you could. Okay, wait a second. No, Ogrum's like the worst. He's the worst one. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. No, sir. But he's Shrek. I forgot about Ogrum. How could you I hate about Shrek? Ogrum. Mm-mm. Ugly. He's Shrek. He has layers. No. <laughs> Bruiser Bruiser's not far behind. Aquagon just got a, a just got a promotion here after after looking at these face pieces again. I forgot about this. No, sir. Bruiser is none of that. Bruiser's so funny. He's like it's also it, at least Aquagon's got decent colors. These guys. Bruiser's the same crazy. principle behind like the 1.0 heroes and the weapon arms. 
It's like big ol' big ol' technic beam. <laughs> Can't move. This Pyrox almost looks like it could be a set. Almost, yeah. The big one. It's not that complex. It totally works yeah. as a set. I want Super Pyrox with the big V shape. It's good. You wanna go Look ahead and talk horns. about oh invasion gosh. from below? The most probably the most divisive year. The most divisive say. year, I'd say for sure. Because, you know, yeah. you either like the minifigs or you hate the minifigs. There's really no in between. Um For me personally, I wasn't crazy on them at first. I'ma be real. Because I wasn't really ever big on minifigs, but I really, really respect it. And I only respect it more as the years go on. Because I felt like it's the only time they've ever tried to make construction like accessible towards people that would normally hate it on like principle alone. Um, you could argue Exoforce kind of did that, but that was still system. Just because it had joints, you know? It wasn't like... It didn't use the Bionicle system. Those were very clearly like regular Lego mechs. But these were like, no, 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 no. We're going to take your CCBS and we're just going to give you some minifigs. And you know what? I, I really, I really respect that. And I think that if Construction ever comes back, it should probably model itself after Invasion from Below. Because some of those sets were sick. Like Box Drill Machine. Aw, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, it's like, yeah, I can't talk about how good it is enough. Like, I, I was so surprised because, like, a lot of the times with the Hero Factory sets, you're like, oh, look at all those cool pieces and the cool masks and the cool printing. And then you get the set and it takes two seconds to build it. And then the final build isn't always that great. You know, like a lot of times they they kind of do the opposite of Bionicle where it's like the final, the set doesn't look as good as the packaging. Versus yeah. With Bionicle, I think I usually have the opposite experience. And... Like, with these sets, they're actually, like, really well, like, built. Like, you, they take a little bit to build, and when the end product is actually, like, you're like, oh my gosh, this is... No, oh, yeah, there's some complexity to them, because they're actual, like, vehicles. Even on a small scale, they're all, like, they all have some kind of complexity. Even even the tiny ones, like the freaking Rocka Crawler machine. Which, let you know, let the record show, they gave Rocka two mechs. He couldn't go a single way, but Stringer got no mechs! Hmm. <laughs> I'll never forgive them. the Stringer drill dozer. <laughs> they gave Evo three! Can, I, can we just say, <laughs> why did Evo suddenly become the poster boy in the last year? Because he's the... He's the Actually, you know, I got nothing. He's not cool, he's the like ninja guy. He's not he's cool. Not the tech guy. <laughs> was it because Ninjago was popular, so they decided to go back to his original character? <laughs> I don't know, but like, it, it feels like both Raka and Inferno were more popular than him, and a lot of the characters are more like ironically popular, like Stringer, you know, country accent boy. Eva was just kind of there. He didn't really have a personality. He's just a dude, and they gave him, you know. Three mechs, if you count the one in Queen Beast, uh, and he was a... gets a he gets a minifig at least though, right? Who? Stringer. He does he at least get one minifig? Stringer, no. Stringer never got a minifig. Stringer oh and Nex gosh. were completely excluded from the uh, whole invasion from below. They never got minifigs or mechs. <laughs> Nex. Yep, Stringer and Nex. That's so sad. That's what I'm saying. They got. On the back burner, so Evo could be in four sets. Yeah, yeah and I mean, Breeze is in a bunch of sets, too. Like, all of them. I forgot! All of them Rocka has indicated. three mechs, because he has the Surge and Rocka ah. combat machine. <laughs> yes. He has, you know, the four, Rocka. Four mechs, Rocka. Five mechs, <laughs> give him <it> more. <laughs> He has a Rocka stealth machine. He has the Rocka I crawler want... machine and the Surgeon Rocka combat machine. Ugly piece of trash garbage. I want a Power Rangers Japanese style super Rocka mech where you take your like four Rocka mechs and you combine it into like an even bigger Rocka mech and Rocka's driving all the mechs. It sounds like that's something you need to build, Matora. Uh... It sounds like this is your destiny. <laughs> draw it or build it, either one. Someone's got to do it, and it may as well be you. Yeah. But no, 
The thing, the thing I like about the minifigs is I feel like with Bionicle, like, you get so attached to, like, the characters. Like, I, I didn't, like, I didn't draw, like, not draw, sorry, I didn't, I didn't take apart my figures and, like, do a lot of mocking, but I feel like with, if I was a kid and I'd bought these sets, I kind of would have been more inspired, because you already have the figures. I would have been more inspired to make them things. For that sure. Sense. Yeah, you could have made a bunch of stuff for them. And I mean, like, e even though I don't really like it all that much, you know, Evo Walker, sorry, well, yeah, I guess, Evo Walker and Evo XL Machine show, you can still make, like, traditional S things. Evo Walker is literally just, like, a bunch of limbs put together. <laughs> and Evo XL Machine is a janky-looking humanoid, but, like, it all still works. Like, you can do all sorts of stuff. You can make a regular figure and just put a chair in front of it and make it a mech. Like, the creativity is endless. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot the thing I hated the most. The friggin' lime green and orange chairs. Why couldn't they have been, like, character-specific? Why did they have to be those ugly shades? Why? Oh. Well, the orange chair looks pretty good, but yeah, I get, I get it. The lime green definitely does not work. No. Definitely not. But it was a good wave. I feel like the mechs were way better than the beasts. The beasts were just kind of there. They weren't really all that. Do you memorable. have any other similar like um, what was it? Was it Ninjago or was it Nexo Knights that did did this kind of a thing? Um, Nexo Knights kind of did. They had these big battle suits. That they had. Did you get any of those? I got one. Um, the the. How do they compare? Not well. Um, but they're also a little different because they're with the mixel joints. Like, they, they literally have a minifigure just sitting inside of a mech, and, like, the head of the of the minifigure is, is just outside of the mech. And that's basically all it is. They don't really try to do what HF did, which was a much more elaborate kind of a build. You know, much more elaborate construction. Um, so it's kind of unfair to judge them as such. But for what they mm. were, they're they're all right. You know, they're basically small scale. This was this was more like kind of on the system -y side. It I is. Guess. It definitely is. I much prefer mm. HF and what they were trying to do. Yeah, because I yeah for Mex, I mean the Technic model just works better. Yeah. Agreed completely. More towards that, I hope, then you can get some functions. I hope that if HF ever comes back, or if Construction ever comes back, they'll consider adopting this format again. Because it was snazzy. I wish they'd, they'd learn from this, though, that these clean headpieces are kind of terrible a little bit, and like had not done this later. What do you mean? Like, I, I wish that they had been like, wow, you know, these, like, these clean beasts, they're not our gr greatest villains. We should not do printed on spider faces uh, later. But I thought you liked printed stuff. I, I'm i not super into printed faces. I can accept it for Robo Riders and Slizers because they're prerequisites to Bionicle. But I feel like post-Bionicle, they should have figured out that you want, like, a sculpted face. That's fair, I suppose. I respect that. It works for, like, visors and stuff, but, like, I mean, like, for the queen faces, like, imagine how much cooler they'd be if they actually, like, had a little bit of eye sculpt or something. Agreed. I'll agree with that. But I guess that limits what you can do to some extent, because the, cause it's, like, you don't want it, because it's, like, this is better than at least, at least than, like, the combiner, like, the... The Uniter creatures or whatever. Yeah. Where they have the eyes, but you can't really tell with their eyes. I hear you. Most definitely. Hmm. Well, that's it, Matora. I need me some Rocka mix. What am I... I need you to get on that. Nobody can do it yeah. but you. There's nobody else I trust but you to do I it. I need Rocka stealth machine. I need this. Do you not have it? No, I don't, I, but my first, uh, I just got my first, um, one of these sets the other day, remember the bulk, oh, yeah. um, drill machine, so. It's hard, hard to believe I, that, that was, was your first, first one. Because I kind of avoided them, because I wasn't super in, I, like, it's, like, um, like you said, you weren't into that, into system that much, and yeah. minifigs, I wasn't either. 
I don't know. I, I really love the action figure size sets, so... Like, part of me can, like, I can appreciate these, but then, like, part of me is like, I wish that these were giant mechs. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, but what if <coughs> they were full-size figures with giant robot mechs? That would be awesome. <laughs> I want giant rocket stealth machines. Oh my god. Alright. It's not even the best mech. <coughs> no, it's not. Best mech uh, I just, is Ferno. It's just Raka. Best mech he's is Ferno. A, he's holding a Vizorak. Ferno jet machine is the best. Alright, wait, okay. Before we end this video, I need to... Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. To be honest, I'm a little bit biased towards the... I, I think Evil XL machine is actually... Looking at it. Say, it's it's cool, but like the, feet. the feet are horrible, the legs are horrible, they're just beams. The ball joints on the shoulders annoy me. The open ball joints. Other than that, mm -hmm. he's fine. Yeah, he's not horrible. <laughs> I just liked how aerodynamic the jet machine looks. Also jets. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. That's really good. Alright, anyways, yep. Um, so, yeah. Hero Factory sets, oh. at the end of the day, they rock. Uh, They're really good. Especially, like, I never realized, like, how bad the first wave was until we did this video. Like, I kind of just kind of glanced over it, but... When you look at it, every other one contributes <laughs> something, even 2.0, which is kind of, like, weird testbed stuff. 1.0 doesn't really. 1.0 is Bionicle Rejects, the series. Uh, the the only sets that make a mark, sadly enough, are the heroes, because they are like the perfected version of the Avmator and Agori build. Which, yeah, and it, but it's kind of sad, because it's like you're starting this sleek new series with these dregs, you know? <laughs> like with these, it's, it's like, why? Just wait a year and make the Bionicle fans starve and make them make them take anything. Honestly, that would have been the best action. Desperation breeds acceptance. But we didn't go that route. And now HF's dead forever. So thanks, Lega. That's pretty depressing. I want it to come back. But I don't think the fan base is there. Yeah, no, I, I mean, like, I would also like it to come back or something similar to it to come back, but, I, yeah, I don't know if the specific theme would have the... I feel it, like this theme is, like, it, it'd be, like, the same thing as, like, what was it, Power... It'd be, like, if Power Miners got a reboot, you know? I hear you. I mean, it's basically... It's just, it's just so the, the fan base also isn't really there. To, like, Bionicle has a nostalgic, like, rabid fan base. For HF, it's basically you, me, X on a good day, and the Russians. Like, the Russian HF <laughs> fan base is, is pretty, pretty insane, believe it or not. Oh my gosh. No, actually, I do believe it, because one time I was, like, message- I was trying to get these, like, bootlegs, these Russian bootlegs off of this guy- and I found this real janky website, and he was he was selling the Bionicle bootlegs, but then he was like, he was like, but I also have all of these Hero Factory bootlegs. <laughs> wouldn't you Wouldn't you love these? Yep. There you go. There you go. But that's that's also really weird that they like that in particular. I don't know why. I have no clue, but it is popular over there. It was apparently, like, its most popular country that it sold in. I forget where we learned this, but I think it was from a set designer. Hero <laughs> Factory like, sold well. Literally. In Russia. In Russia. People were rushing to buy them <laughs> off the shelves. Hey, yo! Well, that's nice for Russia. <laughs> oh, you said the thing! <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> Job laid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you wanna go ahead and end Best this. Best thing about Hero Factory: the names. The names. Epi Stay tuned for episode three: the names. <laughs> Where we just go over the names. It'll be even shorter than this episode. Yeah, I mean, I like how I was like, oh, there's no way we can talk about the sets for as long, but we're almost at an hour and a half. Oh my 
my god. How did he do that? He just, he just talk, you know? <laughs> Jagus. All right. Anyways, um, think, thanks, thanks to y'all for, for listening to us talk about these beautiful creations. Go buy a Hero Factory antiques. set and post in the comments section below which set you bought and what you think of it. Stay tuned. And tell us your favorite set. What's your And tell favorite? us how much you like Raka, because he's the best Tell character. us how much you like Jimmy Stranger, because he's the best character. Can we have, like, a death battle? Stringer versus Raka. They're both too cool. They just... Stringer just jam just it out, out, and Raka's, like, doing whatever Raka Stringer does. Stringer versus Bulk. Bulk. Bulk, is the, Bulk is the bitter one. <laughs> Like It'd be Bulk Inferno versus Stringer and Raka because they're the cool guys. Yeah. Also, black and gold. I mean, come on. Yeah, boys! My colors! Black and gold and, and like steel, gray, and red. It's a pretty cool matchup, actually. Tag team battle. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Alright. Alright, anyways. Okay. Signing out. Farewell! <laughs> HF in the evening. <laughs> With Hero Factory PM! Hero Factory AM now. Oh, you're right. Hero Factory AM. Ha <laughs> ha.